bring you the man who's brought you hits like Dance, Dance, Dance. Everybody dance. I want your love. The Freak, Good Times, We Are Family. Lost in music, he's the greatest dancer. I'm coming out upside down like a virgin. Modern love, get lucky. And let's dance. Everybody, please put your hands together and get up on your feet. And welcome to the stage, the one and only, Nile Rodgers and she. Woo! Wow. How you guys doing? I know this is going to sound really crazy. We've only had about five or six days off, and I am so damn happy to be back. I appreciate you guys so much, you have no idea. I was sitting at home relaxing, and I'm like going, I want to do a concert. <laughs> so you guys ready to party with us? I said, are you ready to party with us? Then let's go. One, two, a uh -huh.
My name is Nile Rogers. And my band here called Sheep. So you look like pretty smart people. So you probably know that I write and produce all the songs for this band. But here's a little secret that you may not know is that I write and produce songs for a lot of bands and artists. People like Daft Punk, Diana Ross, Duran Duran, if you know me. David Bowie, and many, many others. So instead of getting up here and talking stuff, um, you probably came out to hear music. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play some of my number one hits. But check this out. In the music business, we have a term called collaborating. You guys are going to collaborate with us. Every time we get to the chorus of a song, I'm going to scream out the word, sing. You look like smart people, right? You just got through the storm. Everything is cool. You're ready to party. We're going to start off with a song that I wrote for Diana Ross. It's called I'm Coming Out. Let's party! One, two, one, two, three.
tell you something. I'm going to tell you a secret. You see this beautiful woman here? This blonde right there in the first row? I can read her mind. I'm serious. You think I'm bullshitting, right? I can read your mind. I can tell you what you were thinking right now. Yeah? And I'm not going to say, give me a number between one and five. No. What she's thinking, Kim, is she wants you to show these incredible people how we do things in the Sheik Organization! Madonna's not here. So I get to do what I want to do. I'm going to play both songs. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Come on, here we go, Rich.
this year has been an incredible year in my life. I run, I run. Jeez, maybe I do need a little more rest. I, I won a bunch of Grammy Awards, and one, of, and, and one of those awards was for Lifetime Achievement Grammy. I told him, I said, uh, can you guys take that back and hold on to that for a minute? Usually that would be like, uh, you know, Nile passed away the other day and I gave him a Lifetime Achievement Award. I was like, yo, you know, I was humble and I was thankful, but I felt like I got a lot to do. I already got like six songs on the next Coldplay album. I got Daddy Yankee, I got so much coming up. The new Adina Menzel record. I mean, like, damn, guys, can you wait a minute? But um, one of those Grammys that I got this year, I was particularly proud of. This is an artist that I've seen watch grow up from a teenager to become one of the biggest stars in the world. Her name is Beyonce. And the song is called Cuffy. I
but I'd like to reach a state that I call maximum funkosity. And I only know one way of getting there. When I want to reach that level, I turn it over to the brother directly behind me on drums, Mr. Ralph Rowe. I promise you. So I'm just gonna count it off, cause I trust that you know. Here we go. Uh -huh. Here we go. One, oh. two, three. Like out your seats.
starts acting up, then you take her friend. Come on, let's throw your hands high in the air. Party, hearty, like you just don't care. This is a rock, y'all. Tick a tock, y'all. This is a rock, y'all. Listen to the rock. You see? 